Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are speaking with Ryan, who's the CEO of Motion Savvy, and his entire company is deaf. So we have an interpreter here uh, to help interpret what I'm saying to him. He doesn't have cochlear implants in. So Ryan, uh, tell me a little bit about Motion Savvy and what it can do. Well, Motion Savvy is all about breaking communication barriers between the deaf and the hard of hearing. What we've done is we create a completely new way of communicating using recent advancements in gesture recognition technology. Uh -huh. So I want to communicate with you and you and I don't know sign language. And so we pull up this. Yeah, so what I'll do now is uh -huh. I'll sign over deep and it will recognize what I sign and change it into voice. Uh -huh. so. Hello, my Hello. name. My name is Ryan. Oh, it'll read it for you too. It definitely. So we do have a voice to text function mm -hmm. that is not entirely ready mm -hmm. right now. So we're just showing off the sign of voice today. The reason why we're doing this is because while there are many options out there, mm -hmm. for example, interpreters, you know, they're very expensive, and the average deaf American cannot afford them. They actually mm -hmm. cost about fifty to eighty dollars an hour. Mm, that's very so, expensive. I mean, how can anyone who makes like minimum wage afford that? So I've I've been deaf my entire life. I've gone through high school, college, real world, seeing all my deaf friends struggling to get jobs, mainly because the employers will not pay for interpreters. So that's the main reason why me and my company, Motion Savvy, mm -hmm. built this to provide affordable options for the deaf and hard of hearing. Is there a way for me to maybe also type in and then it would sign back to you? Can I communicate back to you? Is that oh, of course. Those are one of the options. But at the same time, you know, we prefer to have deaf people communicate with their natural way mm -hmm. of communicating. You know, English is our second language. Mm -hmm. I can talk, but mm -hmm. most deaf people cannot talk. They mm -hmm. just sign. Mm -hmm. So, and then they I read use, lips and. Yeah, yeah, that. Okay. So, why I would use the product for one way. The uh, most deaf people would use both futures, where mm -hmm. you sign and it comes voice, and voice would become text. Mm -hmm. So I can go ahead and do a quick demo with Jordan right now. Yeah. Uh, press the listen button. Mm -hmm. so. Hello, my name is Jordan. Okay. So what's going on here is that we have uh, two different chats, bubbles, mm -hmm. and this is the basic UI. We have a better UI for after we launch. Mm. But for prototype reading, we're doing it simple as possible because you need to figure out the user experience mm -hmm. that this as comfortable as possible for a deaf person actually making an extension of themselves. And I understand that you are uh, crowdsourcing um, information to add more words to this program. Uh, yes, you know, there's so many different type of signing styles out there. So what we've done is we built a program called Sign Builder that you can only access it by PC. Mm -hmm. And how it works is that it records a specific sign and you can apply a label to it. Mm -hmm. For example, I sign pizza. Mm -hmm. and I type in the label pizza. And next time I sign that, it will voice out pizza. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do with beta is we're going to be giving out about 200 of these units. Mm -hmm. including the sign builder software. And they'll start adding all the specific signing styles to the database. Mm -hmm. Most people will have a different way of signing. You could almost call it an accent. I mean, Jordan's way of signing pizza is different than my way of signing pizza. So really, the amount of signs they go into the 100,000 when you take into account international signs as well. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, there's a, I mean, there's a slightly different language from the UK sign language to American sign language. So that'd be slightly different as well. That's one of our primary goals for our company in general. Mm -hmm. We're going to start with American Sign Language. Then next year, we hope to focus on French. Then the year after that, African Sign Language. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, put all the world's mm -hmm. sign into one database. But would they need a leap motion for this? Well, uh, yes, because Leap Motion is the only technology out there that has two cameras built into it mm -hmm. because it allows you overlapping and connecting your hands together while most technology out there like Kinect or mm. your phones, they don't have that possible technology. 
because I did allow for deaf protection. All my tag, Google, Tango. Mm -hmm. I understand that you are going to be starting an Indiegogo campaign. Uh, yes, we will be launching the Indiegogo campaign on October 21st mm -hmm. to push it to com commercialization. Mm -hmm. Because right now, we've done a lot, but now we want to put this into people's hands. And the only way to do that is with Indiegogo, because this is just a new technology mm -hmm. that is tough to mass produce it without the community's help. We do have money for software development, mm -hmm. but now what we need money from Indiegogo for is the actual manufacturing of the cases. Mm -hmm. So at some point down the road, we will release this for Android and iOS, but mm -hmm. for Indiegogo launch, you will only stick with Windows. The amount of feedback we got is insane. I mean, it almost feels like magic to dumb people. I mean, when I try to explain it to them, they can't comprehend how it works. But when I show it to them, their mind is blown. I mean, I just went to LA Death Festival last week and showed it around, and the amount of feedback we got was insane instead of they just. Well, Ryan, I wish you the best of luck, especially with your Indiegogo campaign. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.